Those are some interesting Abelkuta hearers he mentioned there, but there are others in the book. In the face of this book, what could be behind Nigeria's seeming failure in keeping records, documenting history and teaching it? We don't keep record in Nigeria. I think it's a black mountain. Not only in Nigeria, it's a black mountain. And that is where everybody is depending on oil, oil, oil in Nigeria. We are his tourism. If we document our record, we, you know, we are in the world of ICT, information technology. That is the new face, the new fad. And they are saying that everybody is no more reading. Because the books with prints alone, they are no more, you know, I mean, uh, refreshing. So you need pictures. You need quality pictures, quality visuals that will aid the text that you have. We need to have what we call total reorientation. Nigeria is now about quick fixes. Quick fixes. Everybody, we are running after money running after you know, the good things of life, the niceties and all that. But if we can sit down and say, okay, what kind of legacy are we going to leave behind? Some people did that. The Obafemi Aulawas, the Innamdi Azikiwes, the Tafa Balewa and the Sadana of Shokoto, they did well in their time. But I don't really understand what has happened to us. So what we need to do now is that we need to look inward, think global and we act local. So we keep our record, we document for the next generation. I read a lot of books from D.O. Fagunwa, J.F. Odun Joalawe, and so many. Those are the things that, I mean, has headed me and my generation to where we are in terms of, you know, keeping records. I mean, you know, so many things about yesterday and the future. So it's not about money, 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 money. So what do we do? How do we go about it? We need to come back to the table. So we should forget about, you know, nobody's not saying we should not be castle. Everybody wants to be castle in the air. We want to have private jet. We want to buy Rolls Royce. It's not about, all oh, those advanced worlds, yeah, every, you can enjoy your money, but they think about tomorrow. And that tomorrow is today. And today we should prepare for tomorrow. Capturing stories and pictures of history is no easy task. Neither was compiling a bell cutter beyond the rocks. To put this kind of book together, one, you need quality men team to get that done. The number of time for you, you need the timing in terms of research. You must research and research where you're talking about people, location, and so many other things. You cannot tell something that is wrong about the town or any organized or cities we are talking about. You That's one. That yes, because that, what I'm saying is that your research must be apt and okay, be correct. On, on yes, you have to be factual. So factual. we must make sure that we get it right. Secondly, this, I mean, this project could have been done under three months or five months, instead of five years. But it was done as a private initiative course, project. So I have to look for people, I have to look for money. The they are, they, I mean, the, pro, the, the project got so much money in terms of millions, I cannot be mentioning that here. Because for you to fly in, the photographer in, because the major thing about that is about landscaping. There are so many photographers, people, who are specialists into housing, they are specialists on food, different photographic you know, expertise. But this guy is very good in the area of landscaping. And we are talking about landscaping, you know, about the town and all that. Then the fund, where will it come out from? We, I mean, it was not a government initiative, it's a private it's my initiative. So any, any, the kind of fund that I have to get, no bank will give you money. So it's from my income, from my business that I have to plug back. And so each time I have excess, extra, We'll do that, then we'll stay back. We'll do that, then we'll stay back. The famous Oluma Rock features prominently in Ade Nekon's book on Abel Kota. On a journey to the top of the rock, he tells why it cannot but be an important part of any attempt to tell the city's story and his desire to go beyond the rocks. Definitely, there is no rock like it in the world. There is no rock like Oluma Rock in the world. This is the, in terms of, you know, the composition, the standing, the you know, topography and everything, there's no rock like Holuma Rock in the world. In terms of history, in terms of everything about the rock, it has its own dignifying 
a defined position. You know, within Abekuta and in the world. That's just the way it is. So it's very monumental in the history of mankind and the history of Abekuta or Egbai as a nation. That's the way it is. Now, of course, in, in Ogun State, you have the you have Egba, yes. you have Ejebu. Yes, we have, have Remo and Yewa people. And Yewa. Yeah. So this is about Egba? Definitely, it's about the Egba people. Well, what are you doing next? Well, we are almost done with other three locations, other major you know, group within the Ogun State um, entity, the Ejebus, the Remos, and the Yewas. In other two, three months, we've been working in the last two years on that. So you're going to release, you're well, going to release books like this on Yewa, Ijebu, and Remo. Very, very soon we are going to come out with it. And beyond Ogun State. So I'm guessing your vision is to see books like this tell the stories of our various cities Definitely. across Nigeria. Exactly. That's my vision. And that's what I'm pursuing. Because if you don't tell your story. Nobody will tell it for you. And if they are going to tell it, they will tell it from the myopic or parochial angle. Mm. So it is good for you to tell your own story in a better way because you are the son or daughter of the soil. You know it and you express it. I hope you have enjoyed today's episode. We look forward to hearing from you through any of our social media platforms displayed on your screen. I am Olakunle Kasumo. Remember, one great book can change your life. Bye-bye.